Looking at this model, we can see how the tomb was sealed. Here's the entrance, and outside it, the great stone with its guide track for rolling it into place. Once the stone was rolled along the guide track, completely covering the entrance, it stopped. We can see the ledge that stopped it to the right. Our group measured the outside of the tube and tried to estimate how big the stone would have been. This is the shape, and we estimated it would have had a diameter of 12 feet and weigh 9 tons. To prevent anyone rolling the stone back, an iron spike may have been driven into the rock face. It would now be quite impossible to open the tomb. It was sealed as far as Pilate and the chief priest was concerned for all eternity. To the left hand of the entrance, there is evidence that a metal spike was driven into the rock at a height of 71 inches. There was probably another spike on the other side, but that since disappeared. Critics claim that this is not evidence of a metal spike at all, but remnants of shrapnel from battles of the last century. However, tests have shown the metal is ancient. Whilst later critics doubt its authenticity, there is plenty of evidence that early Christians believed this the right place. The walls inside the tomb have red crosses etched and painted into them, together with the Greek symbols for Alpha and Omega, which Jesus, with the phrase, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, was used as a metaphor for himself. The Temple on the Mount is 741 meters above sea level, but it is not the highest point. The top of the mountain, Golgotha, stands 777 meters high. 777, three sevens, in biblical terms, the perfect number, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega. So was God foretelling the sacrifice of his own son, the Alpha and Omega, through the testing of Abraham? Near the part of the site that looks like the base of the skull, the team found what many scholars believe to be Jeremiah's grotto or prison. Jeremiah is famous in the Old Testament and in medieval paintings for his lamentations on the first fall of Jerusalem which occurred in 587 BC. The team could find no evidence of this grotto apart from this ancient map which clearly bears the legend Jeremiah's Gate. 